hello and welcome back to this channel so in today's tutorial we're gonna go ahead and do a very simple animation and that's gonna be a worm squirming away one of the main things that we're going to learn in this tutorial is how you can make easy animation coloring using the reference layer option so this is a new feature you never used to have the ability to actually color things using reference layers when you're working with animation or motion in fresco but now that's possible and that's what we're going to do today as you can see the major part of this tutorial is going to be about drawing the background and the actual part where you animate this worm is going to be super tiny because it's that quick but if you want to stay until the end and actually do the background as well you're most welcome to do it since most of you are here because of the worm we're going to do the worm first so let's just get started i'm going to go into create new go into digital and click on current screen size I have a color palette and sketch for you guys so go ahead and download it from the link in the description box below and once you have downloaded it get them up here into your artboard or into fresco go to your images click on photos if it's in photos if it's in files click on files and bring them in this is my sketch I'm going to click on done and I'm going to levels make sure this is multiply and then you can reduce the opacity or not if you want but I'm going to keep it at that because I've already chosen a really light color for the sketch next bring in the color palette that's a really tiny color palette and when you're bringing this in if you make sure to have this one setting turned on that's settings app settings and if you go to auto create color palette if this is turned on as soon as you bring the image in it is going to create that you know pick up all those colors not all but most of it and this is what we need we don't have to worry about too much just have some purples and we're going to use some blend modes to create what we need i'm going to hide this layer because i don't want the color palette and the first thing is making the worm i put in a worm here just to give you an idea of how big the worm should be it can be smaller bigger you can add a lot more steps in to make it look much more flawless click on plus to create a new layer so i'll just go into my vector brush and i'm going to jitter and light jitter because i really like it and i'll use black and i'm going to draw the base of the worm that is i'm going to make sure my worm is maybe this length it's at 56 this is for your reference so you don't really need to keep it at 56 or any number just keep it at 30s and i'm going to draw a line now i'll click on this option here which is motion or animation and you immediately see the panels so I'll click on next basically the worm motion is one is like this and one is like this and then again like this right so we're just going to do that so to do the next step I'm just going to go ahead and start from this end here and go all up and then make it something like this that's not right I need a proper sine curve like that next one I'm going to go back here click duplicate frame and drag this click and hold and drag it up here after the curve and I've used the transform tool only this frame transform I'm going to bring it back so that the back of this one coincides with the back of the curve thingy right here once you're done click on done if you don't see this transparent lines it just means that your onion skin is turned off click here and make sure this is turned off and this one I want to keep it at 2 because I just want to see the previous one okay let's go back and now you can see this then this and then this right so now you'll go ahead and copy the curve one and put this outside like on the end now again only this frame and bring it so that the front coincides with the front of the previous frame okay next it's done and obviously it should be at the same level it should match in the bottom done and now again this is too fast as you can see I'm going to reduce this to maybe five and let's see do you see that so we need it to go all the way to the end so pause go all the way back and again duplicate this do it until it reaches the end okay so you have everything so play so as you can see it goes so uh, now I'm going to go ahead and uncheck my sketch because at this stage I don't really need my sketch so if you play you should see this happening and right okay pause 
I'm going to go here and do one setting that is turn on artboard preview so the ends get cut off. There's something wrong here, isn't it? Okay, let's go back and check that layer. Did I do it? Oh, there's an extra one here which has to go into the end. Now it should work. Perfect. That's it. Now I'm going to go ahead, go into levels, and I'm going to decrease this opacity really low because I just want to see it in the background. So the reason I did this is it'll be easy for me to draw the worm. So I'm going to go into next layer here and I'll again use my vector brush itself because I kind of like it. So I'll go ahead and draw this worm now. You need to make sure that you don't change your width or the size of the brush after you've drawn one of these worms. That's really important otherwise they won't look consistent. So let's go ahead and draw this like that and maybe make a head and draw it off. I'm going to put an eye, maybe put a smile and then you can just draw this. And by the way, if you get out of this like this, or let me just show you something like that. You can double click and then click again so the outer ring gets highlighted. Then just cross it off like this and you should be good. There you go. And yeah, you can just double tap back so that it becomes a brush again. So let's go ahead and do this. Next, click on plus and now it's the girl. Wait a minute, let me switch off the onion skin because I don't want to see the previous caterpillar because it's obstructing my view. So now I have this, so I'm going to go ahead and draw next one like that and overhead and make sure the thickness is approximately the same what was there before. And then, yeah, and maybe make him sad because he doesn't like this one. I always need to start from here so that it's easier and if you're a perfectionist you can try to make sure that the the divides that you make um, they are exactly number of the previous frame but if not it's okay I'm just eyeballing it so it's okay okay for this now I'm going to turn the onion skin on only because I want to make sure that the thickness is same as the previous one right so I just go ahead and can see this looks much longer that's because he is much longer and make a tapering end over there and then it's smiley again and for the next frame you can actually use the same thing again if you want I would highly suggest that you draw from scratch because the movement looks much nice and flawless but since I'm pressed for time I'm just going to copy this duplicate frame and go ahead and drag it out here right after that. Use my transform tool, transform, and just pull it up so that it coincides with, okay. And then let's go ahead and click on done. I'm going to delete this one. And I will use this frame, duplicate, hold on, transform. Let's do the same thing with the, oh, wait a minute, done. And undo that, use your two finger tap. I'm going to go ahead and bring it up here. Okay, that's perfect. Transform now. And now I have an idea of where this should actually go. So yeah, click on done. So let's go ahead and do the duplicate again. And pass it on along here. Or you can bring this one. That's better. So, okay, let's transform in. And there we go, done. I'm gonna go ahead and hide the base layer and let's just look at it. That looks good. Now obviously now is the most important part and that is coloring it. Before you would go take your fill bucket or whatever and go through frame by frame and color each thing in this same frame here. But the problem was that if you wanted to change color or something like that, it would become really difficult, right? Now for that, it's super easy. Make this layer, which has your line work, as a set as reference. So you can just click and set as reference and immediately you'll see this icon here. Now plus, now go to your fill tool and you can choose any color that you want. I want some yellows and greens or something like that, I guess. Mm, yeah, let me do some greens, really bright colors. So I'm going to go ahead and add some vector colors here, like and plus to the next one, obviously, and you can go, oops. And plus, you can turn off the onion skin. Super easy to color. 
without having to worry about losing the original line work so you can go back and edit it whenever you want things like that you can also color the other one you can go back here and do it from the same way or you you can also click on a new layer and create a completely different one for the other color so i'm going to go ahead and choose this green maybe make it a bit more green just like that why not and choose to color the others so let's look at it there you go and if you go ahead and make sure you release reference it's done and hide it you have just the own colors here i mean you can use it as a technique to color your artwork as well so i'm going to bring this back and this is basically a worm wiggling around you can make it faster, slower. You can actually add more steps in between so that it seems like a flawless move. The more steps or more frames you add in your animation, the better they look. They move so smoothly and it's like perfect. But it's okay. We are just, you know, learning to do it. So this is fine for us and I'm going to pause it. Okay, so now it's time to make the background. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in my sketch again. There you are. If it looks complicated, just ignore it. You don't really need a background for this. You can just give a dark background so that the worm stands out and then it'll be fine. But I thought I'll add some background. So let's go ahead and do that. Plus sign. And then I'm going to do it on top of the sketch like this. So let's go ahead and add some things now. Um, first of all, I want a plain background to it so that I know what I'm working on. So I'll choose some purple. I'm going to fill and fill it in vector okay i think that's a bit too dark so i'm going to go ahead and make this a bit lighter you can do that by going somewhere up like this and then fill it in with a vector brush that should be fine i'll bring it down below the sketch because you know i want to see my sketch i know the sketch is a bit darker now but that's okay we can still see it so that's good if this worm is bothering you right now you can go ahead and hide it because we are done with the worm hide the worm base the colors as well and you could go back to the layer with the background i'm still not happy with the color actually so i'm gonna go a bit up and maybe make it a bit more like that and then fill it in yes i like this one much better so plus sign and now let's go ahead and draw things first of all the path let's pick up a little light gray here and uh, use a vector brush you can actually choose any brush that you want don't worry about it at all pixel brush is fine too i'm gonna go ahead and add my little path here use my fill tool and fill it in maybe a little darker yeah this this is better i guess because our worm is very bright in color we want it to show up very nicely so darker colors are better now plus and i'm going to add these rocks and again i want some purple maybe this one would be better so i'll use the vector brush again and go ahead and add this and fill this in like that and i want this one to be a little darker so it's very easy to make something a little dark just pull this down a little bit and then it becomes dark right so we have to go behind this rock so go back plus sign and i'm going to draw this here oops undo undo and put it in that looks fine now plus i'm going to go on top of these two rocks we we'll add this grass and i want it darker than this so i'll go ahead and you can also choose multiply right now let's do that and see what happens it's the same color as the rock i haven't changed it i'll go back to my brushes and i'm going to go ahead and add some I fill fill oops i think this one is not complete here so make sure you close your ends and then you can color it off like that you see what happened mm, that's because you gave it as multiply so i'm going to go ahead and make it normal but again same color so bring it down fill fill that's good now i'll go back to this layer here and plus and i want another bit of push here a bit lighter so there you go and then you want you can make it a bit darker and then color it in yeah that's perfect and i want this part to have a little bit nicer texture on it so i'm going to go back into path and click and hold 
to choose that color plus and I'll use a clipping mask and I will go into multiply and for brush I'm going to take ink I think there's something called ink roller okay there you are ink roller and my setting is at 332 it doesn't matter and you can add this so make it a bit bigger if you want and add this I'm going to reduce the opacity so that it's not too you know in your face kind so now let's go ahead and make these bushes I want to make the ones in the background first so I'm sure that I have not used two dark colors so I'll click and hold to select that go all the way top of this just below the sketch and plus sign I'm going to color these two in the background so I have this color I'm going to bring it down a little bit just a little bit go to your brush and then do that I'm going to fill it in or maybe a little bit down okay that's good and I'll do the same thing for this and fill it you need to put this below the road thingy I'm sorry I got confused okay there you go you can go ahead and add more things like this one here maybe one of these things so go to your thing again and I'm going to add that fill it in this one this is I don't know like a flower I don't know how much of it is going to get covered we're gonna to try to put in as much as we can and then you're gonna use your fill tool to fill it in you might want to uncheck your sketch once in a while and check how this is coming along this is fine now let's go ahead and do the next layer the next one I want to make is these trees so I'll go all the way back here and plus and now I'm gonna make the tree and obviously I want this to be a little darker than what I have so roll it down and then let's draw this okay and then you can fill it in that looks good and um, I do want to add some clouds here so I'll go up here and use my tool again I want it to be a little lighter than the tree so go here make it a little lighter up and then you can add this and then fill it in you might want it behind the tree I forgot one thing here the big tree here so I'll go back to this layer which one was that this one and select that color here and add this tree now you can go ahead and add the Sun if you want and um, this is a bit yeah you want it below the clouds obviously so plus and I'm going to choose some yellow you can choose the yellow that I have here or the yellowest yellow that you have and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into basic and soft round opacity I'll put soft round first and my size is at 66 and you can increase this a little bit 140 start rolling it in like this and go on up till here like that and then I'm going to remove the sketch because now I need to focus on how to make it nicer go to that and add a bit more here and then if you want more around the side go to soft round opacity and then you can add a bit around the edges so that it's really light and as if it's spreading around like that you see that so our Sun is ready as well so let's add finer details now bring back in your sketch because we really need it at this point all right now we're going to go ahead and add these uh, bushes right here which is above the tree level so plus and I'm going to choose some really dark color maybe this dark gray or something use a vector brush you can use anything don't worry about that and let's go ahead and draw some of these here and don't forget to close this if you want to use the fill tool I'm just adding the ones which are in the front right now okay and then color this off and then now I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down a little bit make it even darker 
and then add the ones in the back but this one I'm going to go ahead and go to a layer below that and add it there you go all good now we're going to do the same thing here uh, for the top layer I don't want it to be that dark so I'll choose some gray maybe this one and let me just add that and then go back to the layer below and just choose a little darker color then add the rest here oops can make a night sky as well completely dark and then I'm gonna add a plus sign and add these flowers so go back to your brush and then add a bit of stock like that and choose a really dark color just like this I'm gonna go ahead and click on plus sign to create a new layer make it multiply and then add the same thing like this you can go ahead and reduce the opacity now let's go back and add the textures or layers to this so I'm going to go into the top layer here plus and uh, make a clipping mask and this one I'm going to make it screen so hold same color go here and make this into screen and you can choose any brush so I'm going to go into this and uh, try to find something nice I'm going to dry media and take a rough pencil because I like that and I'm going to go ahead and add things like this you can always reduce this opacity here to make it look a little better and in here I'm going to do the same okay and then we can go back into this layer that's a background layer plus clipping mask and again you can make this into screen reduce it a little bit choose this color all done and you can do this here as well now let's go ahead and add the trees here so you want to go ahead and behind these leaves so i'm going to go into this tree here and plus sign and i'm going to add that tree now i'll choose this color and i obviously want it to be darker so i'm going to come back down use the vector brush and then i obviously want to make these extra things as well so go ahead and do this one and I'm going to click on plus sign and make this on a different layer just so that later on if I need to move it then it's going to be easy for me and then I think I want to add this extra cloud here oh we left one out over here right so let's go back and add that I think it's the one in the background so that should be good good we have some bushes in the front over here so let's go ahead and add that and I want the same color so I will go all the way to the front maybe not this yeah after this plus and add these over here that's good and I see that I missed something over here so maybe I'll just go back to that layer this one here and choose this color and add this out maybe we can add some leaves as well i want this tree to look a bit better so i'm going to go into the tree and then make sure that it has a little nicer things and i think i want this to be a little darker because i feel like it could do with a little darker shade yes perfect and I'm going to go ahead and hide my sketch right now because I think I'm done with that so as you can see this is almost done but I feel like this could get a little better by adding some shadow kind of thing to the sky so let's go ahead and do that and uh, this is a this color that is the tree color that's fine let's go into brushes I'm going to go into comics and um, half tone 3 and you want to go on top of this one here plus so I'm going to go ahead and add this thing over here. I want to make sure that it's much better darker in the edges. 
and I'm going to change this to half on four as well about 800 or something and then give it a bit like that and I want to add it I want to give it a little bit on top of these trees and stuff so I'll go all the way top um, maybe yeah, below these shrubs over here you know below these okay and plus I'll go back to my half tone three you can choose half tone one as well I'm just giving in some dark color here like that can you see it I'm not gonna mess with the Sun and I feel like my path here is too bright because I want the worm to look nicer so I'll go here click on levels here brightness and make sure it's clipped brightness and contrast and you can reduce the brightness like this to make it darker like that and there you go and now you can bring back your worm and now you can play it it's gonna go on its own oh you see it's on the rock we need to make sure that it's behind the rock so what I'm gonna do is click select multiple where is it yeah select the three things that's make that you know makes the worm and then group it like that and now we're gonna move this so that it's right below these rocks you see the rocks here just below that now when you play now it will go behind those rocks and that's it once you're done you can click on share uh, publish and export you can ex export it as motion give whatever setting you want and then you're done actually so let me just quickly do this hold on let me take this out and then play and then you can see your worm is happy in it and warm man worming away and having a lot of fun so i hope you guys had fun too and like this super simple tutorial if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified when i post my next video if you want to support this channel you can always buy me a coffee at coffee.com if you create something tag me on instagram with that put me some color i would love to check it out okay i guess i'll see you in the next video then Bye bye